Hello! This video is about how to actually unlock the root user in Ubuntu because if you were to try and change user to root sorry to root it'll ask you for a password now you don't know what the password is you can type whatever you want it won't allow it the reason why the root account is unaccessible is because Ubuntu has actually not assigned a password for it and thus it is a locked kind of account which is ideal um, however there are some people who do like to operate in full power mode okay rather than having to type sudo before commands etc okay so we'll actually show you what to do so it's sudo and then it's passwd and then root okay so you type in the password for your existing administrator kind of account and now it says enter new unix password this is now going to be the password for root okay now we suggest you take something pretty long okay and complex we're just doing this as a demo so there we go all right now if I want to change to root so su root it asks for a password type in the password we set for it and as you can see we have now changed to a root user where we now have complete control over the system and we can cause lots of problems if we don't know what we're doing however you now have a root account to get out of it and go back to your normal account just type exit now what we shall do is actually show you how to lock down the sudo command usage because you don't want all administrators to have full power you might want only certain users to be able to do certain tasks etc okay so we're going to create a group called admin and then in that we're gonna add our own user and also we are gonna add another user okay name called Bob okay that is already being set up so and then once we have a group created we're gonna show you how to ensure that only certain functions of sudo are attributed to a certain user so the first thing we are going to do is create a group called admin so sudo and then it is group add admin or admins fair enough there we go we now have a group called admins and now we need to add our Bob user and our user which is in our case we've called ourselves wind ninja okay so again sudo and then it is user mod and then it is a G and then admins we've made it plural as there's more than one person in it and then let's add Bob okay you can do the same for win ninja brilliant okay now what we want to do is basically add our admins group as the group that is basically in charge of the sudo command and any other users that are not part of it will not have access to it so very simply what we do is sudo vi sudo and we are in the terminal you can obviously change i mean i'm um, the editor you can obviously change that if you wanted to having a quick 
look through this, you shall find this line. Now, this basically means the pseudo group, we could have assigned Bob to the pseudo group, and then basically Bob will have all access. Instead, what we're going to do is change this to admins. Okay, now we have admins having all permissions. You may wonder what those four are. The first one is for the machine. The second all over here is basically it means they can impersonate any user. Then over here it is they can impersonate any group. And the last one is basically refers to what command the people in the admins group have. In this case, in this case, we've made our user plus Bob have access to all. I shall now show you another way where instead of having him part of the admins group, you can actually just add in a line saying what you want Bob to actually have access to. I'm just going to change this back to sudo. So we're not using the group method, but that's an ideal method. We're now going to restrict only Bob. So make a line just like over here where it says the user privileges. I'm gonna, just for making it nice and neat, bring it up under where it says user privilege specifications. So for Bob, Bob gets, I'll give him access to all computers. You could specifically state which computer. For example, he can only use the current computer and you'd put that username, that name over there, and then equals, and then I can say he can impersonate all, and then all, and then over here is where I'm only allowing him to access one command. Okay, now you would obviously find these commands in the user bin directories or user sbin directories. For example, if I wanted him just to have the ability to shut down the computer, okay, I would just type in forward slash user usr forward slash sbin forward slash shutdown. So now Bob, even though he has access to sudo, the only thing he'll able he'll be able to do is basically only use shutdown. And to prove a point, I am now going to remove the group called sudo and I'm just gonna so now I'm going to basically write this file so it's control O and we're gonna press enter okay it's written that and then control X we shall now try to do exactly what we did before sudo vi sudo As you can see, I'm not in the sudoers file. However, root as an individual user was. By switching to root, I can do the very same thing. Brilliant. So, what I have done over here is 
I have eliminated the pseudo command. I have basically the pseudo group, so that's been taken out. I have given root all permissions, and I have given Bob only the permission to shut down. If I did not want any impersonation permission allowance for Bob, so he cannot become another user, I just get rid of this. Okay, so that would be that. I would say is basically, if you are not going to open up your root, make sure you also have your user over here in case there's a problem. So win ninja and then it's all equals all all all. Write it, control O press enter, control X to exit and now I'm just gonna prove again that Win Ninja has access to a sudo command. So we had sudo and vi sudo works for that user. Just make sure that you actually have all these things done. If you have, things will work out fine. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, this has helped.